So welcome into another pre-recorded on Z2 video. My name is Ian Carter, the Geordie Gamer. Um, today we are on episode one of the new Movember series um, in aid of um, the Movember charity. The idea of the series is to upload one video per day on top of all of our usual live streams and uploads um, throughout November. And the idea is one a different map and bus every day of the month. So there'll be 30 buses, 30 maps featured throughout, throughout November. Um, there will be links in the description to the charity website and their donation page where you can make donations. Um, so the, like I say, the, the idea of the series is to raise awareness of men's mental health and men's health issues, um, in particular prostate cancer. Um, and also to raise money where we possibly can um, by people donating. So, like I say, this will run alongside all of our usual live streams and uploads throughout November. So let's crack on and get the bus set up initially. Um, so we are on um, X10 Berlin. We are on route 8258, 285. 285 um, circulation four pound whoops to the terminus to Wald Friedhof terminus. Now we are in the man DL05. Terminus. Excuse me, got the hiccups. We'll get all of the lights on, we'll get the white lights running. And um, we'll get the bus set up. Wald Friedhof is our destination. There we go. 285. We are a bit early, so we'll just skip time just a little bit. So see if you are new to the channel, welcome in. Um I say this is episode one of the Movember series. Welcome aboard. The next stop is Dapasta. Welcome aboard. The next. So I think what we'll quickly do is we'll quickly change the weather because um, change it to rain because we're not going to be able to um, control the bus otherwise. So off we go, like I say, for the 20 minute journey. Hello. Good car. Eine Fahrkarte, bitte. Thanks. So if, if you are new to the channel, welcome in. Um, this is part of the Movember series. And this is episode one of this of this very series. Um, it will run alongside all of our usual live streams and uploads, so we're not going to be nothing will be sacrificed um, to allow this series to to run. It will run alongside. Um, I think we'll probably schedule the uploads for 
um, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, plus we normally live stream from 6 o'clock onwards. So we might set these for between 3 and 4 daily throughout November. I'll see you. If you are new, let's see, we do generally live stream Monday through Thursdays. Um, start time 6 o'clock onwards, with streams lasting an hour and a half to an excess of 4 hours. We do occasionally live stream weekends and afternoons where we possibly can. And the live streams are generally obviously too related, but we are going to start exploring um, other games and content during the live streams. And of course, we do pre record videos similar to this on a regular basis, which we upload on days we're not live streaming. And that is generally OMSI 2, Euro Truck Sim 2, F123, EA Sports PG2, our golf. And we've also just started the EASC. 24 series as well. So do hit that like button and subscribe button um, and it will keep you up to date as to when we upload or go live. And it'll also keep you up to date with the Movember series. Now, there will be a link in the, in the description to both the Movember website and also to their donation page. I don't know if there's going to be a way where we can track how much is donated via the videos. Um, via a personal link. I'll, we will, we have, hopefully that will all be ironed out before this is uploaded. Um, because we are recording them quite well in advance. Um, so we'll try and follow it with us a way where we can have an individual donation link so that maybe we can check out check out how much has been donated through these videos and through the channel. Um, if not, then obviously we'll, you know, say we'll, we, we will include the generic link, if not, so that we can still get donations made. Um, so the aim of the series is to raise awareness of mental, men's mental health and men's health in general and also raise money for the Movember Foundation in the process. So instead of that coffee at Starbucks this week, why not make a home brew and donate that oh, £2 or whatever it is okay. um, for, for your Starbucks copy to the foundation instead. Obviously, depending on how well this goes, uh, we may look at doing similar things in the future, maybe children in need. Um, comic relief, that sort of thing. Um, if it works out and it becomes, if it's fruitful. Welcome aboard. The next... I say, uh, hopefully by the time this is uploaded, we will have hopefully worked out a way of having a, an individual link. Hello. Well, we can track how much is raised. Um, the money will still go directly to them. There's no middleman. Um, the donations wouldn't come, don't come to me, and then I pass them on. The donations go directly to the charity through the website. Like I say, if we can find a way of getting our own individual link so we can track it, brilliant. If not, then like I say, we just put the generic donation page in there. Instead, and yeah, the idea of the stream is one one video per day. We'll probably stick with say three p.m. So three p.m. daily throughout November. And it'll be a different map and a different bus every day. So throughout the month, you will see thirty maps and thirty buses and thirty different routes.
and like I say, if, if it is successful and we do raise some money as a result, then we may look, like I say, look at options for future of series where we can do the same again for other charities, maybe. Welcome aboard. The next stop is Schweizer Horse Park. Like I say, if you were watching this and you're off to work or off out um, and you get the Starbucks coffee or McDonald's coffee on the way, why not donate that to the charity instead? And that's all help make a difference together. Like I say over the last eighteen to twenty-four months I have myself I've seen a number of friends um struggle with cancer. Some have come through it. Um the next stop is here to tell the tale on Unfortunately, there is a couple who sadly didn't. A relatively short journey, so 20, 22 minutes long um, on the Berlin X10 map. And the bus, there will be a link to both bus and map in the description. Um, the bus comes with the map. There's one of the buses that come with the map. Now, there is an extra line pack for Berlin. Um, I don't know if this is one of the extra lines or not, but... Again, I will leave a link to the extra line pack as well. And it looks like we've just killed the killed Omsi too. Um, are we back? We are indeed. There we go. Welcome aboard. The next stop is Zealand Door Bank. Um, someone did ask a question the other day, how is it, being from the UK, is it difficult to drive on these European maps? Um, the answer to that is not now. If, if anyone watched any of our early videos, um, when we first started doing you, obviously two videos 15, 16 months ago, um, they would have seen that European maps were the biggest pain in my butt. Um, I don't know why, but it was something I struggled with hitting the curb, driving on the curb. Um, in theory, you know, it should be nothing different to driving in the UK, just on the opposite side of the road. But I used to be like that on the wrong side, more on the wrong side of the road, or literally driving down the curbs. Welcome aboard. The next stop is 
um, and struggled for quite some time. However, somebody did leave some lovely feedback for us. Um, and that was to keep the left hand side of the steering wheel there along the centre line of the road and that could keep us well off, just enough off the kerb. Um, which has been brilliant to say. I say if we do that now, when we go to the outside view, keep us just off the curb. And that's just by having the, like I say, that, that side of the steering wheel along that centre line in the road. So, yeah, when we first started doing European maps, it was very, very awkward, very difficult. Um, and it probably took three months of using, if you driving in European maps to get the hang of it. And of course, some buses are a little bit more, um, a little bit easier than others. Like I say, that was the whole feedback we had. Welcome. And we often find these park cars on this map. I don't know if it's a glitch or. Or what, but we often find them sitting there. So, what I'll do is I'll just line, find out what I mean, line up with that center line. That should keep us off the curb. Just welcome aboard. The next stop is Scarfista. So like I say, this is episode one of the November series, um, 1st of November 2023. Um, like I say, the series will be uploaded every day throughout November at about 3pm. I think we're going we're gonna to go for the 3pm um, daily alongside our usual live streams and uploads. So nothing will change. There'll just be some extra videos. November for everybody. Welcome. The next is right, so there will be some links in the description to the charity and their donation pages. Right, so I'm hopefully hopefully by the time this goes up we'll have a an individual page set up on the chat on there if we can. I don't know if it's possible. Some charities you can, some you can't. Um, but if we can, just so we can track how much we've raised through the videos. The next stop is Stuart Sunny. Yeah, so if we can't, we'll just put the generic page on instead. So it'd be nice to see how much we do raise. Um, like I say, if it does prove successful, then we can, like I say, revisit the revisit it, it again for other charities. Um, one very close to my heart, of course, is the Bradley Lowry Foundation. Um, And the British Heart Foundation as well. Um, after my dad suffered, my, my dad and my granddad suffered a heart attack. Um, I had a mild one back in 2017, very, very mild. I was quite lucky. Um, but I am, I am on no tablets uh, for the rest of my life to combat my high blood pressure. So yeah, there is a few charities close to home that we can. look at in the future if this is a successful series. Welcome aboard. The next stop is Clearly 229. Welcome aboard. The next stop is One thing that we, we were looking at possibly was a 24 hour live stream in aid of charity. Um, I just don't know how well that would work with OMSI 2. Not not just OMSI 2, but how well it would work with um, YouTube and um, the likes of OBS. I don't know how problematic it would be. But it's something we, we're certainly looking into in the future.
No, it has that we don't have any particular um, order set for anything. Einmal Tageskarte. I think we're just going to randomly select buses and map, record them. Uh, so these will be recorded well in advance. Yeah, we will. Um, there will be there will be UK maps in there. Um, there will, obviously, there's going to be there's not 30 UK maps, so obviously there will be quite a few European map, um, American map. We've got a number of American maps, both North American and South American, um, Middle Far East maps, um, Eastern Europe, Western Europe. So there will be a mix, a, a good mix of maps. Throughout the series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome aboard. The next stop is Unpacking Gold. Oh, that was a traffic light. No speeding ticket. Ah, never mind. Welcome aboard. The next stop is. So that this is the last stop on the route then. Um, not this one, the next one. Where we will pull into the terminus and end the first route run on the series. So like I say, if you have already done haven't already done so please have a look at the link in the description. Um Get yourself over to the Movember website. Um, Welcome aboard. The next stop is Amboor Fleet Hope Terminus. And of course, Get that donation made. So there you go, that is the end of um, the journey. So this is episode one of the November series. Thank you very much everyone for taking the time to watch. Um, as I said, don't forget to go to the link in the description to the website and if you can afford it, make that donation. If you can't, so be it. Um, but thank you very much, everyone, till episode two. Bye-bye.